Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Umlikaya Ali again with another beautiful recipe. So I figured this recipe is going to be perfect for Ramadan. Very simple and fast and delicious. This is the naan bread. So in my bowl I've added one cup of warm water. This water is not hot, just slightly warm, like just slightly above your body temperature. And I've added one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of instant yeast. So mix this, cover it and let it sit for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, this is what it's going to look like to show that your yeast is still alive. If you use hot water, you're going to kill the yeast. Just use warm water. This yeast is still active, so I'm going to add three cups of flour. Mix this and if it's still very stiff, you're going to add your water little by little. In total, I've added one cup of water and two tablespoons. So I'm going to add my two tablespoons, one tablespoon at a time. I've added one. one. And this is the second one. So we're going to carefully knead this for about 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes. Um, I've kneaded mine for only 5 minutes, which is enough. The yeast is going to help you in kneading because the dough keeps rising while you need so it's going to help you soften it very fast there is no hard work here just play around with the dough and it'll be done ha <laughs> look at my hand okay so this is done we're just going to shape it round and put it back into our bowl then cover it with the plastic wrap and then cover it and let it sit in a warm place for 40 minutes I made it on a sunny day so I just kept it outside so it's going to rise while that's rising we're going to make our oil In the cup, I've added half teaspoon of garlic, half teaspoon of mint leaves, and then also half teaspoon of some dried parsley. There, I've added about two tablespoons of oil. Yes, that's enough. And then I'll also add half teaspoon of salt. Just mix this very well, cover it, and you can keep it in the fridge for as long as you want. Here is the one I've made before. I think this has been sitting in my fridge for up to a month. So you can keep that and use it whenever you like. And it actually has, the oil has more flavor when you keep it in the fridge for longer. It tastes better. So my dough has been out for about 40 minutes. And here it is. I'm going to cut it into six equal sizes you can cut it into eight or ten depending on the sizes of um, bread you want to make so just sprinkle some flour on your working surface and then we're going to roll this little dough out before baking Make sure you make two as a head start before you start baking because this cooks so fast that before you roll another one, the one you've made has already baked and then you have to turn off your stove and then of course it doesn't make things fast. So just make two or three before you start baking, then you continue. Okay, we're just making it relatively round. You know, I'm not a perfectionist at this thing, so. 
yes this is the size this is good enough it's just about one eighth of an inch yes yes so when your pan is hot enough just use your hand to test when you can feel the heat very well when it's hot enough then you place your roll dough into it and let it start making bubbles you will see some bubbles appearing you can turn it around a couple of times to make sure the bottom doesn't burn yes when you have enough bubbles like that just flip it give it a few more seconds like 30 seconds and it will be cooked that is it it is cooked you don't need to really keep it for that long i didn't say oh maybe it makes a big bubble okay i'm not a fan of those big bubbles i like seeing my bread like this but then at the end of the video i'm going to show you how it makes a big bubble if you want that bubble so we're going to add our oil and brush it all over then add more on both sides of the bread okay so of course we were adding the oil while that other bread was baking and that's it like that's all you have to do that is all you have to do nothing more cover this with um plastic wrap then add a cloth over it so it doesn't get cold okay now this is one i let this one make a big bubble so you will see well of course as i said i'm not a big fan of it but I just want you guys to see it's actually quite satisfying seeing this make a big bubble oh yes oh, that's a big round bubble poof okay look at that bubble okay um this is how this is what the inside of a big circle looks like this is it it was all air you can put whatever you want in here of course um, I love eating this with some skewered chicken and it'll be nice if you can just rub some mayonnaise in this bread and then add your chicken inside you can add some veggies so thank you very much guys for watching thank you for tuning in and our next recipe is going to be the skewered chicken that we're going to make for this naan bread and it is also very simple and fast and delicious you love it so watch out for our next video and you might want to check out the rest of our recipes here for ramadan easy recipes there are at least here i'll post a link a link of a playlist for you guys that you can go watch thank you again see you next time